Hey y'all. So, oh, excuse me. That okay, was so gross. Okay, so I got a mukbang for y'all. Hold on, y'all. Kind of got a. All right. Woo. Okay, y'all. So, I got me's a mukbang. And as you can see, I got my Be Lovely sauce. And some crab legs. Okay, hold on. Let me turn y'all around. Some crab legs, some corn, some shrimp, and some potatoes. So, I got the sauce. Don't worry about it. It's just the butter. That's all. Because it's getting a little cold. Because it took me forever to eat. So, I made my beloved sauce. I'm not a spice person. So, I don't eat spicy stuff. So, I didn't put everything in here. But I did put some of the stuff in here. Like Old Bay garlic. I didn't have onion powder. I put onions, uh, garlics, but it was the minced garlic that come in a jar. I didn't freshly get the garlic out. Show you guys how I did this sauce another time. But this mukbang was supposed to be with my lovely husband, but my husband backed out at the last minute because he decided to eat before we started the mukbang. But we have this. So. Where I got my crab legs, I got it from the uh, seafood market. Um, yes. Yeah, let her stay asleep if she's irrit irritated. So, I'm gonna, I wanna start doing more mukbangs. Um, come up with a new intro, get better with you guys. I think I used a little too much garlic and um I think I used a little too much garlic and um lemon pepper but it's okay I'm not a spicy person but I didn't have a measuring cup to measure this out so don't judge me but i'm gonna tell you i made it the first time and i used paprika and when i tell you that shit was spicy they got a little <clears throat> a little tang to it so, there we go. Yeah. Next time, no onion. No garlic powder. I mean, lemon pepper. Next time. I ain't got time to make that over over again. I ain't got no more onion. But, it was my first time making it, so I'm not expecting it to be perfect. You know, practice makes perfect. Look at that. So, the place I got the shrimp from, ran out of um crab legs. They had cream crab. I'm gonna do that. 
I'm gonna get that next time. And get me some king crab. I promise y'all it'll be my first time eating king crab leg. Woo! <clears throat> that black pepper and that onion salt and the lemon pepper. This is regular Kool-Aid. Never again. Mm -mm, I'm not using that no more. It's spicy. Zaya. Miha. But why does butter hot? And spicy. Mm-hmm. What you put in it? Lemon pepper. That's why it's spicy. Okay. Um, one of the reasons I can't eat spicy stuff is because I don't have a gallbladder. So, I'm, I, like, I just don't eat, eat it. These crab legs are a little salty. My baby love has some crab leg. Let me see. Let me move this out of the way so y'all can see her. Here you go. You know mm -mm. It's not live. So if you're not a spicy person. Um, I wouldn't recommend using lemon pepper or any any spice. I didn't think lemon pepper was gonna be spicy. So I don't know for sure if I'm gonna finish all of this. I 
don't know. We'll see. Hold on, baby. Let mommy crack it. My baby love crab leg. Uh-oh. -uh. Get it, boo-boo. Where'd it go? Ah, oh, shoot. Yeah. yeah. Want some shrimp? Okay. You don't like the shrimp? Too tough? I think my baby liked the crab legs a little more. So I got shrimp too, but, oh, that shit came right out. I love this crab meat. It is so fresh. It is so fresh taste. It tastes so fresh and salty. I don't know what they do, but I had to get this from two different places, so. Hold on, baby. It's a little spicy, baby. Yeah, you don't like it. Sorry I'm not using the sauce as much, but like I told you guys, I don't like spice, so that's why I'm not using it. But I'll dip every now and again now.
I just ain't gonna dip that much. Okay. It's really spicy. And I'm not a uh, heavy, uh, I don't eat spicy food. So any little bit of spice, any little bit, burn my mouth. Shout out to everybody that likes spicy food. Because, um, honey, 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 I can't do it. But what I want to do is um, make more. Yeah. Purse. Make some more videos and get an intro and stuff going get a little better this ain't got much meat so I don't really that's hub hubby well back there say hi don't walk into the camera and not say hi that is so rude Yeah, this tastes like seafood. It tastes like the sea. It was going good until we got up to that top part right though. See, the other one didn't taste like that. Tastes like it came fresh out the water. I can't wait to taste king crab leg. I can't wait. Who knows? I might get some tomorrow. 18 minutes. Yeah, I'm starting to get full. I'm not a big, big, big eater. But I get full quick and then have to go back to it. Can we? What else can we talk about while? Um. Yeah, what can we talk about? I want to get an intro and a better intro and stuff, and get a little bit better. But I do hope you guys enjoy it. This is my second time doing this. And if you enjoyed it, I will do more. And I'm getting crab like in my cut. I cut myself while cutting onions.
Finally. Okay, after this one, your girl is done though. ready for the new um episode of love and hip-hop to come out i know i'm ready for it to be over but this season was a hot mess they need to just let my girl monice go because honey she does not want to be a part of that no more and i don't blame her because sometimes people grow and people grow tired of the same stuff fighting that gets tiring fighting and carrying on ow i was sharp and it seemed like that's all they want mommy's there to do is argue and fight. Because she made the show. Now, when Moni's leave, I don't know how that show going to be, to be honest. Lyrica left. I don't blame her. Club. Her storyline was a hot-ass mess. What y'all think about it? Do y'all think she slept with Safari? I think she just did it to have a story. Because since her and her husband been on the show, they've been boring. And I believe they asked K. Michelle to build them a storyline. K. Michelle been on there since season one. She have been to Atlanta, New York, not a Hollywood and when I tell you, I believe, I believe that. And then you want to go on the TV shows and play victim and try and put all the blame on her. When you know good and goddamn well, which I did behind the scenes. You feel me? Don't place blame on somebody else for your own actions because you went along with the story. If you knew it wasn't true, you shouldn't have went along with it. Babe, give me um some baby wipes. Period. But that's the end of it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like we enjoyed eating for y'all. You enjoyed it. Say, mm -hmm. Say bye. Say bye.